Berenice is not very famous outside of France. It's it, it's a, a totally a French piece that is uh, that is here very famous, especially for the language, I guess. But if you, I'm from Scandinavia, I'm from Denmark, I'm from Scandinavia. Nobody knows the piece in 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 Scandinavia. So uh, for me, it was also when I wrote it, uh, when I read it the first time, I said, but. How can you do an opera without that? There's no drama. There's nothing in it. It's only they only speak the, the whole time about uh, she has to leave. Or nobody dies. Nobody uh, gets shot. Or there's big drama. What you normally has in an opera, you always have three dead at the end or something like that. Here's nothing. I think people uh, will have to accommodate and listen to in another way as they used to. Because uh, it's not that there are, you know, line legato lines and, and singing lines. It, it's totally different, and it's very much about the text. It has a big uh, sensuality, also. I find uh, when you get over the border of learning it, because learning it is really takes forever. I have to say, it's really, really difficult. Uh, but when you get over that and you and you know the music, then it is really. Full of, of a lot of sensuality and 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 pieces that are very very beautiful also in its own way because you have these fantastic beautiful lines in the in the Racine in the play of Racine and in the in the language of Racine and what uh, Jarel is doing here is that he breaks it a lot with a lot of pauses in between so it's not it's not the the, the fluently language that you have all the time it it's it's broken like. I guess like the characters are here also. It's very much bound to the characters and 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 you know if you see Berenice and you see Titus, uh, they are both two very very broken characters and and I don't think it's possible for them to speak you know normal uh, legato lines of of beautiful text. It's, it's very broken. They they can hardly express their feelings. That's also their big problem. You have to decide here if you want to do something that is uh, totally, let's say, uh, historical rights and everything, which I found is which, which I found is normally very boring. If you want to do something that is historically always right, so we have to develop a character ourselves also in the in the play. And that we have done with Klaus. It took a long time to find this this very strange relationship between the two of them. They've actually been together for five years, you know, you have to think about that. They've been together for five years, traveling around and, and conquering all countries around the world. Actually, Titus has destroyed her country, where she comes from. She cannot return to that country. It's impossible for her to return to, to, uh, to Judea or, or where she's from. It's impossible for her because the country is destroyed. And she helped Titus doing that also, which is also one, one big thing. But I'm sure that Berenice is also a very good uh, politician also. She wants Titus because she wants power. She wants to be the empress. She wants to be at her si at, at his side, as an uh, and have power also. And she's very much very much aware of that also. So it's it's not only you know a love uh, a, a love relationship between the two of them. It's also a very much a relationship about power, about who who wins. I would say it is extremely physical what we are doing as a, extremely has a lot to do with with body language um, Klaus Gut is working a lot with this we have uh, passages that that takes place in slow motion and it's incredibly hard to, to you know to move very very slowly and sing fast at the same time it, it's it's so so it, it goes totally against the things there are passages that's like uh, like an underwater ballet or something like that that you have very very slow movements, and uh, but it's all about expression and all about your inner feelings that 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 we want to get out in a, in a way that it's understandable also. So it's just not the language that you have. The thing about uh, the composers today is, is, is very interesting, actually, because as I sing a lot of, of world premieres, uh, 
you always get to work with different composers. And it is not as it was like 40 years ago or something like that, where you had the different schools of the, you have the Darmstadt, you have the, the, the Wiener, you have all these different uh, ways of composing. Now there's no way to say this, I, I follow this line, I follow this line, I follow this line. It's all confused. And you can also feel that by the composers that they don't really know where they go and where they belong. If you have a, a theater in Vienna or you have in Munich or Hamburg or something that commission a piece. And what I always hear from the directors of the theaters is, you know, please don't write too difficult. We will have to have some audience also because it's, it's difficult with new music and audience. It is always difficult. But there we have a big, problem I, I find now if if we start to do new music um, uh, in a let's say light way it's not a light way but if we start to do that in a in a simple way then we get so close to musical that it almost hurt and that is I have a big fear here now I can assure you that this piece is not in any <laughs> any nearby any musical or something. This is really com uh, composition music in, a, in, in, its, in its own way and it has its own language also, which I like very much. Mm -hmm. 